Hi everybody, it's Pina here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this very simple, quick and simple uh, little tray. Uh, it's almost like a basket tray kind of thing. Now I made this specifically to put some Easter eggs in and <clears throat> this is going to be linked to my Easter egg video, but you can always use this for anything you want to put in it really. You can put anything you want. You can put jewellery in there. You can put anything you want. Um, you can even put a tea, little mini teapot on there as a little tray sort of for your guests. So it looks pretty. You can put an, uh, a plant pot, you know, sort of resting on there. You can do anything with this little tray because it's just very versatile and it's very, very short. As you can see, the sides are very low down. It's only a, a one sort of layer one row and the base and it's very simple so I'm going to show you how to make this now for this you're going to need a six millimeter hook I've got here six millimeter and you're going to need a pair of scissors of course and a needle a darning needle to sew in your end so I'm just going to show you what yarn or what rope I should say because it's more of a corded rope this uh this type of yarn and I'll show you what that is and this it's this one here and this is called return of the Mac and I've used this before in my videos and it's a really really lovely um, type of yarn used for making baskets and things like that it's really really lovely as you can see it's got like a braided effect or corded effect it's really really nice and it's very sturdy and it makes excellent baskets or handbags and and plant pots and things like that and I'm going to use this today and I've got some left over here and hopefully this will be enough. If not, I'm going to add a second colour, which is going to be exactly the same, but another colour. But I might just have enough with this one colour. So we'll see how we go. But um, you won't need much for this, this tray. It's a simple five rows underneath uh, circle and then a little rim at the side. And you won't need much yarn at all. I mean, you probably need to buy um, just one ball of this and you won't use all of it because it's a it's a 200 gram uh, ball, it says there. So it's and it's chunky. So you won't need much. OK, so let's get started on that one. Uh, just pop that aside. And to start with, we're going to do a magic ring. Now, for a magic ring, we're just going to grab our hook and we're going to grab our yarn and just cross it over your two fingers and just grab a loop from underneath like so pinch it like that pinch the big loop and you've got the small loop on your hook and now we're going to chain up one so you're going to ch chain up one there that's not going to count as a stitch at the moment so into this ring we're going to do 10 half double crochets so we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert a hook draw a loop and you've got three loops on your hook and you're going to go through all three so that's yarn over and pull through all three three loops on your hook that's one half double yarn over insert your hook into the loop three on your hook yarn over pull through all three that's two half doubles okay and I'm just going to go all the way around until I've done 10 of these. So that's that's uh, two, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and one more, ten. There we go, ten in the in the ring. Now I'm just going to make sure there's ten, two, four, six, eight. Yep, yeah, there's ten. Once you've got ten, you're just going to draw up this this tail end and pull it tight, like so. Now you can make this as tight or as loose as you want. Obviously the tighter you make it, um, the whole project, the tighter you, you crochet it, the more sturdy is the basket's going to be. So, or the tray. Um, now I'm going to now slip stitch into the top of this 
very first half double crochet. So get your hook and insert your hook and do a slip stitch. Okay, so that's that's your slip stitch. Now we're going to chain one. And that's going to count as a stitch now. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next stitch and do two half double crochets two in the next, two in the next, two in the next. So it's two half double crochets in each and every stitch all the way around. And this stitch here is going to count as a stitch when you get to the end. And that's going to join on with this stitch in here and make two, two in one stitch, two half doubles in one stitch. But I'll show you that when we get there. So yarn over into this stitch here. We're going to do two half doubles. So one, two. Next stitch, two half doubles. One, two. And the next stitch, two half doubles. One, two. So continue all the way around doing two half doubles until you get to the last one and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I've come to the end and I've got my last stitch. Now we're going to go into this stitch where the chain one's coming out of. Uh, normally you wouldn't do that, but because we're making two in one stitch, that's what we're doing here. So I've done my last, uh, sorry, two into there. Oops, there we go. That's my last two, okay. And um, into this one, we're going to do just one half double. And then you've got the chain one, which makes two half doubles in that stitch. So there we go. Now that you've done that, I'm just going to pull that up. There you go. So now that, now that you've done that, you're just going to slip stitch in the top of this V here from the very first half double that we did. Um, so we're going to do a little slip stitch in there. There we go. So that's your two row, two round circle. And now we chain up one again. So chain up one. And now what we're going to do now is we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook there and do one half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two in one stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. That's one half double and then two half double crochets in there. In the next stitch, we're gonna do one half double. Okay, so the pattern is one half double, two half doubles, one half double, two half doubles, and so on. So that's all you're going to do for this round. So I'm just gonna do two in there, and then one in the next. So I've done one, two, one, two, and one. And carry on all the way around until you come to your last stitch. And I'll meet you here at your last stitch. Okay, so I've nearly finished this round. And I've got my last stitch to do. And you should end up on a one half double crochet. Until you do the next stitch. And so that's one double crochet you end up with. And then in the same, uh, same stitch as you've done the chain one here you're going to do a half double because that makes two in one stitch. So there you've got the pattern where it's um, one, two, one, and then two, one, two, and so on. So we're going to, these two count as two stitches, the chain one and the half double count as two stitches in one stitch. So I'm going to now slip stitch on top of the V of the first double crochet we did there so that we've closed that round. So that's round three. Round four, okay, we're gonna chain up one again. So chain up one for round four. And now for round four, one, two, three, we're gonna do this something slightly different. So yarn over, insert your hook and put your first stitch into there. That's a half double. 
and then in the next stitch another half double and then in this stitch we're going to do two in one two double two half doubles in one stitch so the pattern now is one one two one one two one one two okay so here we have it so one 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 two I'm going to do one one again one sorry one half double one half double and then two in one space in one stitch that's two in that same stitch then one half double one half double and then two half doubles in the next stitch so one two so go ahead and do that um so it's the same thing all the way around so one one two one one two one one two half doubles all the way around until you come to your very last stitch and I'll show you what to do okay almost done so I've come to the end of this round and I've got two more here so I've done my two in one stitch and you should end up with just two separate ones here so two separate half double crochet so that's one two into that stitch whoops two that's two separate ones and now we've got to remember this chain one that we did here and we need to go into that same stitch where that chain one comes from and we're going to do a half double to join up with that to make two in one stitch so um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the top of that v like so chain up one and we're going to do one half double here one half double there one half double in that stitch and then in the next stitch two half doubles so it's one 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 and then two one 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 and two so let's do that so yarn over and insert your hook into the first stitch and do one half double two half doubles and then three one in each stitch and then in the next stitch we do two half doubles so that's one and two two half doubles so one in the next three stitches half doubles that's one two three and then the next stitch two in one stitch one and two so continue all the way around in the same manner so that's one 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 two in a stitch one 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 two in the next stitch so continue that way until you meet I uh, meet you at the other end before you do last stitch okay so circle almost completed and now what we're going to do I'm just going to finish off my last three half doubles so I'm just going to go into the last three stitches so you should have three half doubles at the end and I'm just going to go into those three here and then once you've done that again you're going to go into this stitch where the chain one is and do another half double and there you go and then you join with a slip stitch on the top of here now I'm going to have to change color now because I'm running out of yarn so you can continue if you want with the same color and uh, chain one and then we're going to do the rest I'm going to show you how to do the rest but make sure you chain one first now I'm going to change color here so I'm going to add my next color now to add my next color what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut off this yarn because I've got only a little bit left really so I'm just going to cut off a little bit and leave a bit for the tail end so you can sew it in and then from here I'm just going to get my other color which is this sort of darker kind of coffee color and I'm going to now put my hook into this V here and I'm going to draw up this color 
through there. Just pull it through and pull it through the other loop as well. There you go. And leave a bit of a tail end so you can sew that in later on. Now tighten everything up. I'm just going to tighten that up. Tighten this up. There we go. And then we chain one. There you go. So you've just added your other colour. Now, of course, you can do it with the same colour. Continuing continuation, just like this one here. It's the same colour. And then you don't have to do anything. Just carry on as normal. But always chain one at the start. So I've chained one. And now what we're going to do now, we're going to do half double crochets, um, but we're going to do it in the back loop and third loop. Now the third loop, if I show you where the third loop is, so we have our back loops here, for example, and then there's a third loop just there, just below. So back loop, third loop. So we're going to grab both of those on the way down. So make sure you grab just these two, not the V, the front of the V, okay? Back loop and third loops. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So let's just pop our hook back in, make sure everything is tight enough. Yeah, it's all nice and tight. So what we're going to do is gonna yarn over and in this very first stitch here, we're gonna go into the back loop, okay? And we're gonna grab the third loop, which is just below. You can see it there. It's just there, okay? I'm going to put my hook into the third loop. So I've grabbed both. There's the front loop, back loop and third loop. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. And that's your first half double into those two loops. Yarn over into the next stitch here. Grab the back loop and the third loop. The third loop is just below there, just there. Okay, and then just bring up the loop and do your half doubles. Yarn over into the back loop and third loop, just there. And then again, do this, oops, let's do that one again. There we go. And then again, back and third. And that just gives it a nice sturdy side bit there so it doesn't flop over. Okay, so you've got, you're starting to build a ridge there, as you can see, look. So you've got your bottom and your side bit. Now I'm just gonna continue a little bit more. So I'm gonna continue and show you how, it, how it's done. A few more stitches and then I'll let you get on with that. It's pretty easy. It's just all the way the same. There we are. So continue all the way round until you get to the other end and I'll show you how to finish off this last round. And there you are, that's how it's supposed to look. And I'll meet you when you get to the other side before you finish your last stitch. Okay, so I've come to the end now and I've got my last half double. I'm gonna do my last stitch just into there. And there we are, half double into there. Now, once you've done that, you're going to slip stitch on the top of this V here, not the chain one, but the V, and do a slip stitch like that. And then you can see, I'm just going to pull my hook out. Right, now I'm just, you need to just uh, sort of bring the sides up, press it down, and they'll come up, mold it into shape because this, this um, particular cord does really well at moulding into shape. So I'm just going to do that with my hands so that the sides are more upright. There you go. See, there you can see it's more upright. The sides are nice and upright. Now I'm going to do an invisible join here because I think that looks nicer on um, this kind of stitching rather than doing a knot here, a nice invisible join. Now for that, I'm just going to take my stitch out and just that way actually and then what I'm going to do I'm going to snip a tail end a little bit longer about there so I can sew that in as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my needle and 
first of all, this loop here, this last loop that we did before we did the slip stitch, we're just going to pull that out. We're going to literally just pull that all the way out. There you go. And then I'm going to thread my needle like that. And just maneuver it inwards. There we go. And then once you've done that, you're going to get your needle and you're going to go into the sort of slip stitching like I showed you. We're going to go in the back of there through to the front and then pull that tightish and then we're going to go into this stitch the one we just came out of and go down this way and grab a little bit of the yarn from behind I'm going to grab that one as you can see pull that through and just going to tighten that up a little bit not too much you just want to sh it look, needs to look like can you see it needs to look like the rest of the stitches which it does it's a V just there you can't hardly see it so I'm now going to just um, now that I've got my stitch in place I'm going to now just sew that in just pull that yeah that's fine and then we're just going to now just sew our ends in here you can put them anywhere just put your needle anywhere there we go there we are so make sure that's perfectly shaped yeah that's fine and then carry on sewing your ends in all your ends inside the the, uh, the tray you need to just sew your ends in inside not on the outside but this is the inside of the tray so I'm just sewing it in the inside And then continue sewing your ends in everywhere else. Um, I'm going to continue doing my ends. The middle one, all you have to do is thread your needle again and just go in in the middle. Um, just kind of get your needle and go through. Be careful because this is stranded and you, you want to go in the loops, not, the, not through the strand because you'll be stuck otherwise. So I'm just going to go through the loops, as you can see, just lift up the loop and go underneath the loop. There we are. And the next one. And just carry on all the way through until you feel like this is secure enough. And I'm going to go in a few times. Do all your ends, just do these ends as well. Tie them in underneath the loops and I'll meet you back here when you're finished. Okay, so here we are. I've done my, I've tied, I've woven in all my ends and it's beautiful, absolutely. And it looks quite good in the two-tone effect. This is the one colour and this is the two-colour effect. And of course you can see on the sides the little pattern it gives. It gives it a little sort of ridge pattern. This one's just got a plain pattern. And when you've done that, finally, what you do is just literally just shape it up. Shape up the sides. Make sure the sides are nice and upright, not fl flopping down, which they shouldn't do anyway. But you just want to make sure they're nice and firm like that one. So, you know, just literally just bring the sides up like that. And there you have it. There you have your little tray, your little basket tray. And I hope you liked this video and if you did, please like and subscribe and hit on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.